Hey guys, Cliff here with the beginner's tutorial for Persona 4 Ultimax Arena. In this video I'll be going over basic tips and strategies on how you use an Arakami effectively. For the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to assume that you understand the basic systems of Persona 4 Arena Ultimax and are able to execute basic combos. Before deciding to play as a certain character, you should evaluate his or her strengths and weaknesses and determine if they suit your playstyle. Now Arakami is a great choice for beginners and experts alike for a number of reasons. He has a solid range on his normal attacks, a simple to master mix up game. He possesses many tools in his arsenal to answer pretty much any situation. And lastly, he can apply tons of pressure which is invaluable for opening up your opponent and allowing you to execute your combos. The only real drawbacks you'll find to using Narakami is that a lot of his persona moves leave his persona out for a little while, making him susceptible to persona break, and also he uses a lot of super meter to execute his higher damaging combos. First, here are a few moves that you should take note of when using Unarakami. Use Crouching A is super fast and great for catching opponents not blocking low. Standing B has great range for a normal attack and allows you to maintain space and control. Crouching B is your main anti-air in most situations and can lead into great combos. Jumping B has a great hitbox as well and beats out a few other air attacks. Jumping down B, however, is more effective at applying pressure as it is more ambiguous and allows you to cross up. Quarter circle forward C is also a great move for spacing when used correctly. It can now also be performed in the air, but be careful as Tiger kneeing it does not provide you with any advantage. Quarter circle forward A is a great move for block strings as it is relatively safe on block. The raging line is a great move for combos but should be used sparingly on its own unless you see huge gaps in the opponent's defense. Swift Strike can be used to slide under certain moves such as projectiles, but similar to the Raging Lion, should be reserved mainly for combos. Zeodyne is a great super with invincibility startup frames that can be used to punish full screen. It can be activated on the ground or in the air. Shinden is great for ending combos, but doesn't have any invincibility frames, so it ends up getting beat out by a few other moves. Use Awakened State Super is by far his best. It does a lot of damage, can be used to end combos and also can be used as a punish for mid-range and due to its invincibility frames. Narukami can do damage quickly and efficiently, but to do so you'll need to learn his combos. This is Narukami's go-to mid-screen combo. The ending swift strike sets up the opponent for follow-up pressure. If you can't get the first hit right next to the opponent, then ignore the quarter circle forward A. If you have 50% super meter, you can use one more cancel to combo the swift strike into a raging line and then proceed to catch the opponent in a raging line loop, dealing optimal damage. To catch the opponent with the last raging line of the combo, you need to delay the raging line a few frames after the crouching C. You can also end the combo with either the Shinden or Awaken Super. This combo is a great corner carry for Narukami. After the third A hit, what you want to do is immediately jump cancel into jumping C and once again immediately cancel that move into the raging line, which provided you were in the middle of the screen should carry the opponent to the corner where you can finish the combo. This is a combo that you'll find yourself using a lot right after an anti-air attack, chain into standing C and then perform an air combo ending in a raging line forcing a tech by the opponent. If you open up the opponent in the corner, use this combo to deal optimal damage. It can be ended with the Shinden or Awaken Super. If you do not have Super Meter, you can also go for a high-low mix-up following this combo, but be careful as opponents are much more prone to using Dragon Punch when trapped in the corner. I advise that you practice each combo until you are able to perform every one of them three times in succession without failing. Then you'll know that once you get a few reps out online, you'll be able to execute them fairly well. Okay, so now you know a few basic combos, but you must realize that playing against a human opponent is a different beast than training mode entirely. You need to learn how to open up the opponent in order to execute your newfound combos. As I mentioned earlier, you was great at applying pressure. When you get the opponent on the defensive, don't stop. Use as many moves as you can so long as they are safe and you will eventually, hopefully, crack the opponent's defenses. 
typically you'll be using high-low mix-ups combined with crossover over mix-ups to open the opponent up. Most importantly, don't be afraid to use super meter in order to get the hit the opponent. Now remember, just because Narukami has a strong pressure game doesn't mean that you need to go at 100 miles per hour every second of the match. Be patient, wait, and over time the opponent will reveal the holes in their offensive defense. That's when you strike. Now I guarantee if you follow those tips to the T, you will still lose a lot of games. And here's why. In fighting games, you win by being smart. And more so than knowing what to do, what combos to use, how to open the opponent up, smart fighters know what not to do and what moves not to use. Please do not throw out your persona attacks when the opponent is right next to you and you do not have them in a block string. Or when they have the ability to punish you very easily, such as show who can walk to both sides of the screen. Also, do not raging a lion for no reason. If you're not reacting, don't do it. Sure, you can toss it out every now and then to catch the opponent off guard, but it is not and should not be a go to means of opening the opponent up because everybody knows that you want to do it full screen and they're ready for it. Same thing applies to Swift Strike. Once you stop making as many foolish decisions offensively, you realize wins come a lot easier because it's much harder for the opponent to counter you. You have come to realize that fighting games are as much a battle of wits as they are brawn. My final advice for you Narukami is have fun. Remember, if you're not having fun, then you should just switch characters entirely, find somebody that suits your playstyle, and helps you enjoy the game. You might be attracted to you because you hear he's high tear or whatever, but remember, everything is dependent on personal skill level. No character is going to make you good, only you can be good. Well that does it for this tutorial, if you'd like to see other characters covered let me know down below in the comment section and subscribe to the channel for more of some of the Korean Ultimax videos.